Well, you got 35 so far. Okay, and so. then with this, what does that bring you to? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. How much are your bucks? They're a dollar each or five dollars for a whole box. Five for a whole box. Okay. If I start a, yeah, start a pile, yeah. Bar. What are these exactly? They were trivets on our kitchen wall. Oh, I see. I don't know exactly what. How much are your glasses? Well, I just make an offer. I don't know. Okay. Like all of them? Uh, um, maybe just these green ones. Five. Five okay. bucks? Um, yeah, I'll buy them. I'll leave them there and I'll keep looking around. Okay, we can start wrapping them up. Sure, thank you. What's this price say? Looks like two, doesn't it? I'm not sure if it was two or twenty. Oh, they went out that way. If it's two, you want it? Yeah, I'll take it. But well, I understand if they want more, no big deal. Are you selling this stuff by the tray or individually? Individually a dollar and let you a whole tray. Okay. What would a whole tray go for? Okay. What would a whole tray be? I thought you had to eat. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, let me get that. Okay, sure.
Thank you. Okay, I'll do both of these then. I got a pile, I think, right here. Is that you too? Yeah, that's me. Yeah. And those are yours too. Yeah, the glasses. Five, six, seven. Yeah. This is this was separate. I just saw that on the other thing. Found a few more things. Oh, well, you got 35 so far. Okay, and so, then with this, what does that bring me to? Um, 40. 40 bucks, great. So, yeah. Nice and easy. Well, nice round number. Yeah, and then you've got albums inside? Yeah, upstairs. Okay. Up there. I'd love to take a look at them. Sure. Up there right now, but you can. Perfect. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Sure. This is all yours then, we're all Yes. Okay. And some shelves. And then there's another way to come up there. How much are you asking for them? A dollar each. Dollar each, okay. You want to give us 200 to take them? Here's some country. Okay. Thanks for letting me look. This gentleman right here. He's already paid his stuff. Yes. Yeah. How much is the phone? Five dollars. There you go. Five. I'll take it. Oh, you got them old books, didn't you? Yeah. Thank you. I think I got. I need two dollars. Thank you. You're Might have to make an extra trip. Can you help uh, sure, if you don't mind. That'd be great. Right, right. I'm a toad. Are you John? Yeah. How are you guys doing? Good. Oh, thank you so much. I've learned a lot. Oh, awesome. What are your names? Uh, Doug, Doug and Katrina. Katrina. Doug and Katrina. It's a yeah, pleasure been, to meet you both. We've been doing what you're doing for a long time. It's fun, isn't it? We're just not as exposed as you are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what do you do? I'm going to run into him. I probably oh, yeah. your video. <laughs> it was a pleasure meeting you both. Yeah, you too. Good man. luck to you. Good luck picking. Hey guys, I'm back at the warehouse. I only went to one sale today. There were maybe four or five sales within like a 30 mile radius. Um, this is the only one that really looked intriguing to me and I am really glad that I went. I spent $45 and I got a lot of really good stuff. Some of the stuff that was like, they just had in big boxes or trays or whatever, they were just doing bundle deals for me. So like I was asking, you know, how much some of this stuff was and she was like, how about just $10 for the whole tray? And I was like, absolutely, that's a great deal. Uh, there's a lot of old brass stuff. Here's like some old keys, some bells. Here's a um, just like a brass like wall hook. I guess that's some kind of lion or something. I didn't even look too closely at this stuff. I just knew for that price that I'd be able to make some money because a lot of this stuff is just perfect for my antique booth. Here's just like an old decorative key. Here's a clothespin with a bunch of keys. I don't know what this is. Your friendship is more precious than a pile of gold. Hal Lufkin, Vice President, Newton Manufacturing. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, just random odds and ends. What does this say? Dayton something manufacturing company. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then same with this tray right here. Uh, minus a few pieces. All of this was $10 here, so. Just some really cool um, architectural salvage, like this right here. Uh, let's see, what is this? It's a train. It almost looks like a watch fob, but it's a little too big for a watch fob. Let's see, Gold Rush Junction. I bring good luck. Just a lot of cool odds and ends uh, that I think I'll do pretty good with. Here's an old letter opener. These put out uh, candles, I'm pretty sure. Like, oh, let's see. Oh, I thought this button was awesome. Licensed junk dealer and collector. So I'm going to keep that for myself. That's pretty funny. 
And some of the stuff that's, you know, odds and ends that might not sell well on its own, I think I'm going to do what they call a junk drawer lot on eBay. So I'll just lot a bunch of it together, do a drunk drawer, junk drawer lot auction, and just sell it off like that. Because I've had some pretty good luck doing that in the past. It should do pretty well. Here's some extra odds and ends I added on after the fact. Um, here's an old brass door knocker. So that'll do pretty good. This I thought was cool. It says Wilton RW. RWP Armitry, I think, is what that says. Um, Wilton, I know, is a local company, so I, I would think that this would do okay. This is a pewter piece, so there might be a collector out there for that. Here's an old Sony handheld radio, and then here's some kind of monkey toy. It said made in Hong Kong, so definitely a little bit old, kind of rubber. Let's see, over here, I got this... Lantern for two dollars. See what the maker is. It's even got the tag still. Miva or Miva. Pretty cool. Uh, and then I got this whole box of books for five dollars. Uh, once again, they were just like making me bundle deals. I didn't even have to ask for the discounts. When I asked for the price of the books, they said a dollar each or a whole box for five. And I was like, I'll absolutely do that. Um, and they had them organized. So these were the oldest ones from the 20s, 30s, and 40s. Now, there's some interesting titles in here. What is this Beverly Gray's Journey? Shortwave Mystery, Burgess Animal Book for Children, Modern Great Americans. Yeah, just a really good variety. There's an Eleanor Roosevelt book. That's cool. Fireside Book of Christmas Stories. So that's pretty neat. Something I like to do anytime I buy books is I flip through all the pages. So anytime you buy books, make sure you just go through the pages like this. Just a real quick... You know, like that. Because you never know what you're going to find. I actually found a $20 bill one time in a book. 1945. Okay, yeah. So, it's definitely an older book. And in decent condition, too. So, with Christmas coming up, that might be a good seller. Back here, um, I got this whole box of glasses for 5 bucks. I didn't count them. I think there's like maybe 8 or 9 of them. I just thought that print was really neat. And then on the bottom, there is a hallmark. It looks like a C with a circle on it. And I don't recognize that hallmark, but my dad is really good with this stuff. So I might bring this and show it to him and see if he recognizes that hallmark. But anytime I see vintage glassware that has a cool print or design like that, I usually try to pick it up because I've done pretty well with it in the past. I would think this type of set could go anywhere between 50 and 100 bucks. I got this wood organizer for $2. Uh, it just has a cool look to it. People like this type of stuff to, you know, display trinkets and things. The side's coming off a little bit, so I'll probably try to hammer that in a little bit, but that'll definitely go to the antique booth. And then last thing is what I got right here. This is an amplified photo phone. It lets you dial by photo. Kind of neat. Uh, it was new in the box. I paid five bucks. That's worth about 20 bucks, it's, it looks like, from sold comps that I've seen on eBay. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.